Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, it's up in 13. Yeah, uh, the panel here uh, wanted to reflect the uh, the uh, varying opinions uh, uh, on the IOM report. That's why that was placed in there. Questions. Looks accurate to me. Allison? I, I think that um, starting at line 13 and going through the following page on line 13, I, I think this is really an example of what Dr. Gutmacher was saying before, where this is just really a rewrite of what we discussed and had in the previous strategic plan. And I think actually the way it's written in the existing version of the strategic plan really reflects the breadth of the discussion that took place not only at this table but at the panel workshop. So my, my suggestion would be this is an area where I think we want to stick with the original language. I have to say I disagree with because I think this is a, a modifier regarding those epidemiological based studies that is very accurate and I think that what we had in the previous plan was not totally reflective of the 2004 IOM report. So are you saying that there have been new studies since we last developed this plan that would speak to changing the setting? No, what I'm saying is that the rewrites from line 14 uh, down to line 16 is actually part of the 2004 Institute of Medicine report. It just wasn't included. Right. We looked at exact language last year and we decided not to include it. I, I'm just saying I think this reflects better the report than deciding not to include it. And from the panel's perspective, um, when they uh, we're looking at this is what we believe we were tasked to do. Um, we thought this, uh, and I would agree with Lynn, is that was the uh, consensus, the overall consensus that this was more reflective of the report. Other comments or thoughts about this? Ellen? I'm not comfortable with the with the last sentence in particular. Lots of issues related to autism get public attention, and it just seems misplaced in this document. I, I have a question for Lee. I mean, are, are you saying that the discussion of the panel members subsequent to the actual workshops reflected that? Because the notes I took at the the scientific workshops for panel three, uh, they're pretty. There was. There was disagreement, but the majority were in favor of leaving the existing report. When, when after the workshop, so that we could be reflective of all the diversity of opinions that were expressed there, we asked people to go back and review the entire document. And uh, from that, this is what we came up with. So you're saying that on the phone call subsequent to the workshop, some of the panelists do? I'm not sure if I understand you. It, um, prior to the workshop. And after the workshops, on the phone call where you worked on the language, you're saying that some of the panelists changed that language? Yes. Everybody had an opportunity to respond and comment on everything that you see in here. And they did. <laughs> and this was something that uh, there was, uh, I would say, uh, I, I don't think, I, I can't remember any dissension. Around this, uh, Let me see if I can find some middle ground here. Um, if you start at line 13 and you uh, go through the first sentence, however, the IOM report acknowledged that the existing population-based studies were limited in their ability to detect associations that are limited to small susceptible subpopulations. I think that we may want to rework this a little bit. They could be more genetically vulnerable. So, uh, and if you simply said the IOM report acknowledged that uh, that um, 
genetic that there may be susceptible subpopulations that could be genetically vulnerable to environmental exposure something like that would that um, and you leave out the rest of this and you don't put in the specifics of any particular kind of exposure would that work better would that still um, address the concerns of the panel address uh, the full range of what the IOM report suggested without uh, implicating Congress or anybody else in the, um, the rest of the language. Yeah, I think that's better. The thing with that is that you're removing uh, the large epidemiological-based studies, and that's primarily what the report was based on, so I think it's important to include that language. No, I, I wasn't removing that. I didn't think I was anyway. Um, it's in line 14. We just have to do something with using limited twice in one sentence. We'll have to work up the, make the language a little bit cleaner. But I, I thought that the uh, concept that you wanted in here was that epidemiology has its limits. And the IOM report recognized that. And that what they said was the epidemiological evidence isn't there, but that's all we have to look at here, right? Um, and then, I, but I think the rest of it, and especially the business about uh, vaccines and autism we we get into in many other parts of this i'm not sure we have to do it here as well well it'll come up in the next paragraph and beyond that uh later in the document <clears throat> so does that if we make that change we drop the rest of the language and just have the sentence from 13 to 15 um bella do you want to try to read that uh, here's what i heard um however the iowa report acknowledged that uh, the that the existing population-based studies were limited in their ability to detect small susceptible subpopulations that could be genetically vulnerable. Could be more gen excuse me more genetically vulnerable. Uh, I like that. Move to make that change. Okay. Um, second. In favor. Okay. Opposed. Any opposed. opposed. One opposed. Any abstentions? Okay, we're moving on. Page 